Okay, so clearly in this case, starting the car, it's still stalling. What we're going to try now is to start the car, apply throttle pedal, and see if we can hold a steady idle at about 750 RPM uh, with the throttle pedal. Okay, so if we use the throttle pedal, we can hold 775 RPM. So what we're gonna do now is we'll adjust the base idle table, the base idle airflow, and see if we can't get the computer to do that job for us. So let's take a quick peek at that. Okay, well now that we've established that the car can actually idle at about 750, 775 RPM in that range with us holding the throttle pedal down, um, that's a plus. So we know now what our stable idle limit is. Obviously changing just that target uh, idle speed table, the desired idle, doesn't do us any good. Um, it does us good, but obviously not in terms of maintaining the idle. we got to change that base running airflow now. So now that we know that our chosen idle speed of 750 in drive, 775 or thereabouts in park is going to work out fairly well, next step is to do exactly that. Now we're going to go after that base running airflow table. Typically with a setup like this on a mild cam, you could get away with about 11, 10, 11 grams per second. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to try a little higher because it's an automatic. You've got the added load of a torque converter. Manual cars, you can have a little bit less. There's not as much load, a little bit of inertia with that flywheel. So uh, in this case, because the additional load, we'll add a little bit more. But we'll try that value. We'll see what ends up happening. So let's take a peek.